Welcome. I am Kiana Pitchford, the K-5 Instructional Coach at Elizabeth Cashwell Elementary School. This is a second grade content support video for the fourth quarter. In this first video, we will explore building second graders' understanding of odd and even numbers. Before we begin to explore the second grade standard fully, let's review the progression of content between first and second grades. In first grade, students understand that a specific number of items in a set can be grouped in different ways, yet retain the same number of items. In second grade, they extend that understanding by pairing a number of items as a strategy for determining whether that number represents an even or an odd number of items in the whole set. In first grade, students also work extensively with addition and subtraction within 20 using strategies such as doubles and doubles plus or minus one to solve problems. In second grade, students apply their understanding of doubles and doubles plus or minus one to help determine if a number is odd or even. As seen in the chart, by the end of the first grade, students have had experience with grouping objects to represent numbers in different ways and have used strategies to solve problems with sums up to 20. In second grade, they continue exploring numbers up to 20 using grouping and computation strategies developed in first grade to determine if a number is odd or even. First grade concepts should be reviewed in the fourth quarter as a part of the instruction for the second grade standards. It is important for students to be able to identify even and odd numbers to use for patterns and to judge reasonableness when adding numbers. For example, when adding 97 and 76, I know that my answer will be an odd number, so if I add and get an even number, I know that I've made a mistake. The idea of equal groups is also a building block for multiplying or dividing by two in later grades. Students must begin exploring odd and even numbers with concrete models that they can manipulate. Since students are determining if the individual objects in a set of objects can be paired to illustrate an even number, almost any physical models can be used. Counters, bears, unit cubes, and popsicle sticks are all good models to use since they are familiar and easily manipulated by students. Only after students have demonstrated understanding of odd and even numbers through grouping objects should they move to pictorial representation of drawing and the abstract representation of writing equations without the use of the physical models. The rule for examining the digit in the ones place is not useful for young students working with small numbers. Students may be able to discover the patterns in even and odd numbers on their own with lots of hands-on practice. Here, the focus should be on making pairs, counting by twos, and using doubles and doubles plus one facts. Students should also be able to justify their thinking when it comes to determining whether a number is odd or even. In this example, inspired by the work in the unpacking document, students are asked, is 15 an even number? They're also asked to justify their thinking. Student A says, I used 15 counters. I paired them into groups of two. Since there's one counter left over, I know that 15 is an odd number. Student B says, I used 15 counters. I put them into two equal groups. Each group has seven counters and I have one counter left over, so I know that 15 is an odd number. Student C says, I counted by twos to color 15 squares in two columns on graph paper. Since one column is longer than the other, I know that 15 is an odd number. Student D says, I drew 15 circles. I matched one on the left with one on the right. I have one circle left over, so I know that 15 is an odd number. Student E says, I know that 7 plus 7 equals 14, so 14 is an even number. 15 is 7 plus 7 plus 1, so 15 is an odd number. Partners Galore is a whole class activity that can be used to introduce even and odd numbers. The teacher will call a group of students to the front of the classroom by a shared characteristic, such as all students who are wearing white shirts. The students in the group demonstrate making pairs to find out whether they represent an even or an odd number of students. Later, students will use counters or cubes 
and investigate odd and even numbers up to 20, coloring the even numbers green on the chart and the odd numbers red. The even odd scoop activity can be completed throughout the work as an independent station. Students will use different size spoons to scoop counters out of a container and then pair them to determine if the number of counters they scooped represents an odd or an even number of counters. It is recommended that students record their findings in a journal to keep track of patterns and to add accountability to this task. In this activity, odds and evens, students spin both spinners and find the sum. If the sum is even, the player who is even Steven records the equation on a separate sheet and the sum in one of the boxes under even Steven. If the sum is odd, the player who is odd Rod records the equation on a separate sheet and the sum in one of the boxes under odd Rod. The first player to fill all of their boxes wins the game. Many books have also been written to support students' learning of even and odd numbers. Here are just a few titles. Caution! Beware of activities that just have students identify odd or even numbers. These worksheets do not build understanding of what it means for a number to be odd or even. Instead, students apply a rule without any understanding over and over. Without an understanding of why numbers are odd or even, students may actually practice the rule incorrectly many times before it is detected, building a misunderstanding that is difficult to correct. To recap, students begin to make sense of odd and even numbers using models such as manipulatives, drawings, and equations. Students will use their prior knowledge of grouping items in different ways and counting by two to help them understand why a number is or is not even. Students must be able to justify their reasoning for why a number is or is not even or odd. They should be able to explain the strategy they used and how that strategy helped them. It is important to choose activities that will help students build understanding of odd and even numbers instead of rote activities that will not. Finally, working with equal groups to determine even numbers begins to build a foundation for understanding equal groups for multiplication by focusing on multiples of two.